welcome to the beer review of me, Jake. So today we are drinking a beer from Daya, brewed in collaboration with Beak. Daya and Beak. It is a double IPA called Cosmic Control, coming in at 8%. I can't remember all the hops in this. I think there was Strata. What was it? Strata, brew one. Come on, think. You read it literally five minutes ago. Strata, Brew One, Idaho Seven, Eclipse, Eclipse, because I can't remember drinking too much Eclipse before. Uh, an Australian hop, apparently. But yes, it's a, I had to pick it up really. A Daya, Beak Collab, Double IPA, big old 500 mil can. Yes, please. Yes, please. So let's go for it, shall we? I'm very much looking forward to it. What the fuck's that? Some sort of clicking sound. Anyway. Let's carry on. I brought this from Treble Madness, and I love Treble Madness, don't get me wrong, it's my go-to online bottle shop. However, they use recyclable packaging, very commendable, but it's very bitty, very bitty, and it all goes in the tops of the cans, and I always forget, and there's all just guff on the top of the cans. Anyway, small quibble. Absolute first world problems. Let's go for a little pour. Woohoo! So, beer in the glass, then. We have a lovely looking beer. It's, uh, it's, it's obviously very hazy, but it's got a brightness about it. Yeah, it's sort of a light, a light straw colour, really, but quite vibrant looking. And a lovely sort of newspapery. Thick head on the top, looks very appetising. Let's go for a little sniff. Oh, good artwork, by the way. It's sort of, it's the, so you've got look, the, the Daya stuff on there. But then, uh, oh, I'm getting bloody text now. There you go, go away. you got the Daya stuff on there, but then the view's sort of like the beak colours, really. And their abstractness. Very good, very cool. Anyway, let's smell this. Oh, yeah. A big old slap of pineapple across the chops. And I have to say, it's sort of fresh cut pineapple rather than tinned. Getting a lot of that, that acidic sort of smell of the pineapple rather than the sort of syrupy slices of it. it smells very good, very fresh, very vibrant. Vibrant is the word of the review so far. So far, vibrant. When you kick it up, get a little bit of a, a dank quality in there. A bit sort of like, candied orange peel a bit pithy a little bit of like a, a sort of like a not quite like a rye vita but like a wheat like a wheat cracker but that smells pretty damn good and i just want to give it a good old swig so up yours oh yeah oh yes they are in beak of um hit the nail on the head with this one i'd say it's pillowy smooth, but it's, it's got it has got a little bit of a, a zippy effervescence to it. Medium mouthfeel. A little sting. A little slight sting of bitterness. Up front I get sort of sweet orange. You know the little the little, well, the little sweet oranges. Whatever they're called. Get get that on the front end. And like I said, it tails off to a bit more of a, of a sort of a a grapefruit bitterness. Yeah, pineapple again, all day long. But it, it is tasting more of sort of tinned pineapple again. Because it's got that little bit of sweetness in there. A slight hint of like pine. But all in all, incredibly drinkable. Incredibly well made. And incredibly delicious. So I'd highly recommend picking this one up. I can't really, it's a new-ish release. I think in the last couple of weeks anyway. And it's tasting damn good. Yeah, definitely pick up a can. Highly recommend, highly recommend. So that was everything from Daya and Beak's Cosmic Control. Double IPA. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you've had this beer. Let me know your thoughts on the breweries in general. I'd love to know. But that has been everything from me. I've been Jake. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. I'll see you. Cheers.